Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the module four of uh, OOP concepts. So in this, uh, actually, I've referred to the previous scheme paper. So I think that it has shuffled like uh, module four and module five. The concepts have been interchanged. So it doesn't matter. Anyways, all the questions are present. You can download this document. The link is in the description box. For more information uh, regarding this, I've explained A to Z. What are the key points you need to write in the theory video of each module? Okay. So you have to watch that and keep this as a reference for the questions which you need to focus more upon. Okay. Anyways, you have to co cover the whole syllabus for good marks focus these questions more okay focus these questions what more and cover the whole syllabus accordingly then uh, coming to the first question which is what is thread what is a thread you need to know and how do you create a thread how do you process it how do you run it how do you stop and how do you terminate it all these things are discussed in depth you need to know each uh, key point next we have what is synchronization and how can, uh, how it can be achieved uh, between threads in java if there are th uh, two threads running parallelly and uh, they are working on the same thing if they are not synchronized this will make some other change here this will make some totally different change and it will cause unstable data right that should not happen how can we synchronize it what are its syntax is there any function needed for it all things you need to know very well next we have adapter class in java what is an adapter class why it is needed what is its syntax how do you implement it what are the key features of it and um, what is its advantages and disadvantages where all it can be used what is uh, what is its scope all these things should be mentioned in the um, third question which is explain adapter class with example Lastly, we have what is interfaces, why it is, um, wh why is there a need for interfaces? If interfaces were not there, what would have happened? How do you implement it? What is the abstract code for it? How, what is the pseudo code as well as the real code for in, uh, interfaces? What are the different types of inter interfaces? Does it uh, support the concepts of polymorphism, inheritance, data abstraction and encapsulation or it does not support them? All those key concepts you should know very well A to Z. So you can watch my theory video in that I've explained all the concepts A to Z, what all you need to write an exam. So make sure you watch that and learn all the concepts keeping in mind these uh, concepts as uh, super important and that's all for this video uh, module 4 make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one